I'm Tyree Davis live from the Hill. Hello. 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 I'm Tyree. Now. I'm waiting all week for this. How are you today? Good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. It's nice to see you. So do you have some questions for us? Mm -hmm. How how much practice did it take to win a grant? How much practice does it take to win a grant? <laughs> Well, it's different for everybody, you know, and sometimes you practice a lot and you don't win a Grammy, and it doesn't mean that you're not great. Very true. For me, it took uh, about 35 years of practice. How many instruments... I think you can ask Esperanza, too. She has a different story. How many years did it take you? Well, I started playing music when I was five, and last year I was 26. So that's 21 years, but Terry made a really important point that we don't practice to win awards, we practice because we want to do service to the music. So we practice really hard because it makes our lives better, and we have a lot of fun, and we get to make beautiful music that other people enjoy. And I haven't won a Grammy. I'm on a Grammy winning record with Terry Lynn, and Esperanza's on the same record. So I'm really excited about that. But I agree with what they said. You practice because you really love what you do, and you work hard at it to get better and better. And that never stops. You always continue to try to get better. Even when you win a Grammy. <laughs> you, you gotta practice keep practicing. <laughs> How many instruments do all of you play, and what's your favorite one? Good question. Oh, this way, maybe. Well, I, I play piano, and that's really my the only instrument I really play. And I know a little bit about the different instruments, and when you go to school, and I went to Pitt, I'm a graduate of the University of Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. I learned about writing for different instruments. But my main instrument, the one that I play, is the piano. My main instrument is the bass, but I also sing. I, I just play the drums, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and compose. Yes, I write. So you know about other instruments. I, I try to sing every now and then. And she's a really great arranger. Both of these women are. If you could do anything except for a career of music, music what would it be? Start? That's a good question. No. I think a lot of times when you love what you do, you really don't think about doing something else. That's why it's hard for us to answer that. Um, I could fantasize about other things that seem exciting, but my passion is really with music, so I never uh, have really thought too long about anything else. What about you guys? That's a good one. I think I might study environmental studies. I'm interested in nature and biology and conservation, so maybe I go do something like that. But it's hard, it's hard to imagine because music really is a light, it's a full-time commitment. Mm -hmm. And I've, I'm really happy um, as a musician. I'm, I'm very fulfilled. I'm a mom, so I think that would be my exclusive thing to do if I had another mm -hmm. way to do it. Wow. But I love uh, I love being a musician, so I can't think of another career path. Do you have any hobbies? I have a hobby horse. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I like to read a lot. That's my other hobby, which is something that's good as a hobby for me because we always travel. So all I have to bring is a few books, and I'm good. Mm. I like to cook. And bartends, but we don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> and I love to swim. I'm a big swimmer. Oh, oh I didn't know, I know that. that. Okay. Hey, okay. Who is your number one role model and what did you learn from them? Good question. I have several role models. Um, Jack Jeanette was probably one of the people that was high on the list. Um, he was a drummer. He played with Miles Davis and many, many people. 
um, but my role models, you know, uh, varied. Sometimes it's your family. You know, my, my dad is a role model in many ways. Um, a lot of uh, singers, you know, people that were older than me, that embraced me like a little sister. You know, like uh, Bernice Johnson Regan, who was the founding member of a group called Sweet Honey and the Rock, and Diane Reeves and Angela Davis. And, People that um, I really appreciated what they were doing in society as well as um, whether it be music or, or education. Mm. Yeah, I would say to my family, my parents, um, and I'm a musician, but I also work in the academy, so I've had a lot of uh, role models who are performers. Um, Mary Lou Williams, who's a big role model. It's one of the um, really important people for me. And I would say um, Kirby Hancock is another big role model. So they're different uh, role models for the, for the different interests you know, that, that, uh, that I have. Those are two major ones. Yeah, again, family. I think of my mother as a major role model. And a musician that, even though I've met relatively recently, his body of work has been an uh, example and source of inspiration. His name was Wayne Shorter. And his perspective on the purpose of music making, to me, is a really helpful guiding light that sort of comes back to what we said earlier about practicing. That the reason we're doing music is more of a necessity, more of a service, a giving, than to try to get something back. So we try our best to make beauty and value and share love and sincerity through our craft. That's why we practice so hard to be able to transmit it truthfully. And it's good to remember because there's so many other images of what entertainment and music is about to get attention or get money or be popular. So it's really nice that we all have grown up with teachers and musicians that remind us the real reasons behind a life of music. All right, one more question. All right. Why did you choose to do music? Ooh, those are really good questions. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. I know for me, I think, I I think it chose me because I don't ever remember doing anything else or wanting to because I started at five. I'm such five mm -hmm. too, right? So um, I feel like it, it chooses you sometimes. I, I say you catch the jazz bug. <laughs> and once you catch the jazz bug, it never leaves. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I would say too, I, um, I saw on television, I, I remember seeing the Leonard Bernstein children's concert and the piano was there and the orchestra. And there was something about it that really just grabbed me. And then my parents, my mom and my dad, really saw my interest. So, you know, they, they got a piano for me, and a piano teacher. And they stayed really um, supportive of me through, through my whole development as a, a young person. Learning. That's funny, I also saw someone on TV. I saw Yo Ma playing cello on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> and I said, I want to do that, whatever that is. That's how I got into music. And at first, music was just for fun, like playtime. Like I would voluntarily go and just play because it was fun. And then as I got older, I got the jazz bug. And then, nothing else gave me the same satisfaction. And I felt proud of myself when I, when I practiced and I learned something. I felt really proud. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I felt like, wow, like I can do that. And it was such a good feeling to not be able to do something and then a couple days later to be able to do it and show it and share it and people enjoyed it. And I think that really hooked me. It's such a satisfying feeling to make beautiful music. And, and uh, I think that's what keeps it going, mm. you know. And one of the things, too, that's so special about um, jazz is that it is really about people sharing. And I grew up in Detroit, so a lot of my mentors, they really spent time with me 
when I was your age. Excuse me. And as I mentioned, you know, I was here in Pittsburgh for about five years. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. And it's a, a really um, amazing community of musicians here that also mentored me. Um, Nathan Davis is one of those people. And each place has a really special kind of, I think, Bless you. has a special community of musicians, each city. This, this lady's from Boston. And Esperanza's from Portland. And as I have mentioned, I'm from Detroit. And each of these communities really embrace, much like what's happening for you here, you have a community that's really supporting your growth and your development. So this is a very special um, part of what jazz is about. Absolutely. All right, thank you, ladies. I'm Tyree Davis, and I'm watching the